What's going on YouTube? Gabriel Wright here representing the movement towards improvement over here in Oahu, Hawaii at Newtown Driving Range with my new friend Corey. Kind of new friend. Yeah. Met you back in what, November, December last year? Yeah, that last time you were here. So Corey, how long have you been playing golf for? Um, probably started when I was maybe six or seven. You know, just kind of just for fun. Um, my mom played golf and then um, my dad actually played tennis, but you can't really play tennis forever, so. Um, and then my sister started playing too, so it kind of just became like a family affair. Okay, now did you play in high school or college? Yeah, I played in high school uh, and in college. Um, I'm actually from the island of Kauai, which is like a 20 okay. minute plane ride from here. So I grew up playing there, um, played for Kauai High School, and then moved here about five years ago. Played for uh, University of Hawaii, Manoa. Okay, now you're playing professional golf, am I right? Yes. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? Um, a little bit over a year now. Okay, what's that experience like just in the beginning stages of that? Um, well, it's just a lot of getting used to, I guess, getting out of the experience of playing as a pro. Um, I remember, like, you know, back in college, everything's kind of organized for you, so, you know, workouts. Um, practices, uh, tournaments, and traveling, and all everything's arranged for you. So, when you uh, f step out of the program and you you know turn professional and you're out on your own, it's basically out on your own. Like you have to do everything for yourself. Um, you know, like you know, just working out and practicing. It's not mandatory anymore. So you gotta find ways to motivate yourself and you know just get it done. Sounds like a a good growing and learning experience, and also becoming more independent as a person. You know? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, even just in Hawaii, you have to travel to uh, the mainland a lot of times, or you know, just out of state for tournaments, and you know, just travel and grow. You know, you travel by yourself. You make all your arrangements. It's a lot of yeah, personal development and growth along with it. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for sharing, Corey. Would you mind hitting a few shots for us, real quick? Yeah, sure. What type of shop shape do you usually play, Corey? Um, I grew up playing a draw a lot, just because of my smaller size. That was just a way for me to hit it farther. But since I've got older and I started working out and I've picked up some distance, then um, I'm really working on trying to hit a fade. Um, but I mean, as long as, and well, I mean, but still being able to hit the draw as well. And so Kelvin's been helping me a lot with that. And, I see a lot of good progress. Okay. Uh, that's a straight ball right there. Yeah. It's, it's a Bernoulli ball. Yeah, pretty good for this wind. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking earlier, you know, if you can hit one more for us, Corey, how, All right. you know, Corey was hitting some shots with Kelvin and he said, you know, I feel like I'm hitting a little lower than I used to. You know, I kind of mentioned to Corey yeah, that maybe the environment or, you know, the state you're playing or practicing in can influence your shots, right? Where here right. in Hawaii, it's really windy. Mm -hmm. and you might subconsciously try to, you know, do something, get, you know, get your attack angle a little more down to keep the ball fight a little lower. Right. As opposed, you're in Arizona. I mean, you know, it's yeah. warmer out there, no wind. Yeah. Yeah, de I, I definitely think so. I mean, yeah, I spent a couple weeks in Arizona, um, you know, about a month ago, and you know, perfect conditions out there. You can just just launch it straight into the air and you know, no wind will affect it. But you know, when you're here and you got maybe like, I don't know, anything from like zero to 30 miles yeah. per hour, it's, you know, I guess subconsciously you end up doing things that, you know, will get it. You have to adapt, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. For sure, I mean. For sure. <laughs> Even that even can correlate to short game too, you know, being from San Diego, going up on pole greens or, mm -hmm. you know, a little more bent grass. You know, the guys in Florida, around the greens, they got a lot of Bermuda. Right. You know, so your technique has to kind of change. Yeah, definitely. With where you're at, you know, and that's why yeah. a lot of the guys that from San Diego go play Cusco in Florida and they don't know how to play in the Bermuda. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. or for you, it's kind of sometimes a benefit to be in a windy place because, you know, me in San Diego, it doesn't get very windy. Mm -hmm. So if I go to a windy place, I'm like, I'm out of my, out of my element now. Right. So. Yeah. All right, let's get the big boy out. Now, I was just telling Corey, he's got to get some um, some nicknames for his clubs, okay? <laughs> so, off the top, what do we call on the driver? Uh, I don't know. 
I never really thought about naming any of my clubs, but... You're like, that's a gay idea, gay, but, you know, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll think about it later. Yeah, maybe uh, I'll, I'll let you know later on. Okay, what... There's gotta be some sort of, like, Hawaiian term for, like, monster or... Um... Dangerous. There probably is, but I don't know it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep that in the background. Just yeah, the, well, we'll keep it in mind. Put it on the back burner, let it sizzle, let it marinate. You don't want to rush these things either when you're picking a name. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's like, it's a special thing, that's why, you know, yeah. it's a special. So, take some time, don't rush into <laughs> it. A little draw on that one. Nice. Oh, there's the straight one. Yeah, so can you just talk really quick, kind of like I asked you earlier, just sum up kind of, you know, what I came here, you know, three, four, five months ago, where your swing was and just kind of what you were working on, you know, just recently? Um, yeah, uh, I started working with Kelvin about November last year. Um, before that, I was, uh, Kind of doing more of like a Mac O'Grady swing or a stack, stack and tilt kind of swing. And um, because of that, I was hitting a, the ball pretty low, uh, especially with like driver and stuff. And so um, a big thing for me was like, sorry on my downswing, I kind of go forward. But um, instead now I'm trying to more feel like I'm almost kind of like I'm hanging back on my right side. and swinging on my downswing and that's helped my launch angle quite a bit and does that, get, does that get your carry up a little bit further too yeah definitely I mean I'm hitting it higher with still um, little spin yeah a little spin so I'm I almost feel like I'm kind of optimizing um, distance for your speed yeah distance for my speed a little bit better than what I was before okay Oh yeah, it looks good. I'm trying to work towards something you got. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like Kelvin holds stuff from me. <laughs> when I look at all those other students, they have better swings than me, you know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. All right, one more if you don't mind, Corey, then we'll do a little what's in the bag. All right. good ball there okay you guys thanks for watching that video that's part one of this what's in the bag series part two is going to be up tomorrow where Corey's going to run you through his bag and show you what wedges irons and driver he plays so if you guys like this video please subscribe throw it a like and leave a comment down below more videos coming you guys if you want to book a lesson with me just check out the links below email me uh, offline or online thanks for your guys support I'll talk to you soon